my free time, please and let me get the other half of Rusty. So first I had to go so I can overstuff it now. I'm gonna be stitching it, so I'm gonna be showing you guys what exactly to do. What to do exactly, but yeah. So first, on how to stitch, this will be a knot at the bottom of your thread like this one. And a knot which connects the needle and the thread. Now you wanna poke it so the needle goes through the other side. One minute let me show you once it goes to the other side. It did. So now once it has gone through the other side, we're gonna pull it and do the same thing from this side. Then this side like that. Now we're gonna do it from this side. Then we're gonna do it from the front again. Like this, we're gonna keep on doing it until this is completely stitched. Like in three, two, one. Okay, so now we're gonna cut off the excess of this pumpkin once you're done stitching it and i can't do this on camera since i'm holding the camera as we're making this video well i literally have like two tripods but yeah so i'm gonna cut off the excess and get back to you guys okay so by this point many of you guys are wondering why didn't i show you guys the stitching process i'm really sorry about that but i cannot show it you guys because currently if you guys can see see this one hand is empty and this other hand is holding the camera let's see hi so yeah since i need to hold the camera as well i can't show it you guys that properly because of the as i told you guys that you can stitch around the corners and cut off the excess you guys might be noticing that there's blue thread here and i showed it you guys with red so what happened my hand went a bit wonky since using one i was using one hand and i'm left-handed and i was stitching with my right hand and i don't even hold the camera with my right hand this is me holding it with my right hand this is me holding it with my left hand i think you can say that my left hand is really dead but i'm mostly a lefty so that's why i cannot so you guys the stitching footage and after i cut off the excess that step was not wrong but since i done the stitching so wonky even the thread came out with it so i went over that and now i'm just going to use the excess that we had thrown earlier and to make the stem you take the crotch part of the sock and leave this in a corner for a while don't throw it away it's gonna come back and now cut it in half and fold it in half and stitch it in half and me here trying to use my glue but it ain't working so don't use your scented glue i'm using orange scented glue for the gluing steps so it gives more fall yeah it's a weird detail if you want you can add it now i'm gonna be stitching these two together like this on here to create the stem and i might be coloring the stem later or I might be staining it with orange glue. We're not sure about that, but yeah. After gluing on the arms, and like I was about to make the face, but I forgot we've not made the pumpkin lines yet. So for the pumpkin lines, you're gonna take this brown faux thread and just glue it on in a way in front of base, something like this. Okay, so once you're done gluing on the legs and the antennas, I actually had to fix that because I accidentally underlined the word accidentally stitched it on a bit wrong and it came off so i stitched it again but there's no step i mentioned wrong in this tutorial then i colored the stem and the legs because they were supposed to be brown and it turned out to be perfect and here's what it looks like on the bed oh my god i'm in love with this if you guys look added on other channels let me know what plushies you guys want me to try and we're here to plushie number two so i am rich on fabric since we clean today we cleaned out a bunch of the old fabric so i got like a lot of fabric so we have this sock and we're gonna be cutting it i'm gonna be showing you guys how to cut it but i'm gonna cut it off camera again my hand behind I can't so yeah I made this line right here do not follow these lines just follow this one line this one line and cut it into two pieces and do not throw the second piece this 
the smaller one away because it's really important to make this plus both the pieces are so now you're gonna cut it from here like this in three two one okay guys so after cutting it it should look something like this and the next step is see number two which is the tim burton plushies you're gonna be stitching this perfectly there's this much of an opening which you guys can barely notice but i think it looks okay and this much is okay and then you have this circle it's giving us i made the head a bit too big and i cut this a bit too small so yeah and this is the i stopped it with denim so this it's really soft as a like a plushy material like this one it was stuffed with denim as well it's not making a sound but this one since it's such a big head made by only half a sock see this is the noise actually i could not cut the denim for stuffing material and that's all the stuff material i had so yeah for this i am gonna be so apart from that then i'm gonna be using this and gonna be rolling it into a tube which i am gonna have as the body like this much like maybe something like this which is the next step i'm using that and i personally recommend using a hard fabric or maybe like foam foam paper or this type of denim because this is the comparison between normal fabric me doing this and the denim there's a slight sound coming which shows you guys how much harder denim is and i couldn't i was not able to cut the denim to stop this and i wanted to that did not happen i wanted to use denim for the stuffing since to make it a bit more like a plushy shape so that's why okay that was a really complex explanation but yeah that's the next step and why you should use denim you guys are done making the body and stitching the bottom like i did you guys can stitch the head and body together which i'm done doing this is really hard for my mom my mom did half of it and i did the other half in like more than five minutes but yeah, I made this year and this second year I used glue on it so it's really messy. But now it's time to make the face. Okay, so this is what the mouth's gonna look like. Without the highlights, the face turns out to be creepy and lifeless. But these are my two plushies, so I hope you guys and the inspo was from my Asim and Dark person. Honestly, I didn't do exactly what they did for the pumpkin. I added a second step and made it baby pink. For this, I like the ears downwards with the highlights and instead of using a pom pom. I just drew on the pumpkin, so like I did do things slightly different than her. Her uh, my tutorial and her tutorial have a bit of difference, so don't think I just completely copied her blindly. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like and subscribe. DIY, uh, DIY for plushies. Peace. Bye.